Um, hi, I'm Elizabeth Hubbard. I work for the bookstall in Winneka, and I'm here today with Cynthia Beebe, the author of Boots in the Ashes, which is uh, her memoir about her time as an ATF agent, uh, covers her life story and intertwines with many of her high profile cases. Cynthia, can you tell us just a little bit about your favorite case in the book? Uh, sure. Uh, it was a bombing case that occurred in Highland Park in 1993. Um, it was a, a huge case before it was over. It involved more than half the Chicago Field Division in terms of agents and it involves dozens of the Chicago Police Department officers because it also involved the Hells Angels. But um, it was a story where Richard Kagan, who was a very successful Chicago criminal defense attorney, was in the middle of a divorce. He was divorcing his wife, Margaret, who lived up in Highland Park. Uh, Margaret was the mother of their two daughters, and Richard Kagan had decided he wanted to have Margaret murdered because he was in a hurry to marry his much younger girlfriend, and he was concerned that Margaret in the divorce trial might reveal information that could cause the divorce judge the, uh, to perhaps question whether Richard Kagan was still fit to be an attorney. Um, so Richard Kagan hired a, an enforcer for the Hell's Henchman Motorcycle Club to pay his, uh, paid him $10,000 to kill his wife, or in Richard Kagan's word, to whack his wife. Uh, Ron Pettis stalked Margaret for weeks, trying to shoot her with a 25 caliber revolver, and he could never get a clear shot. And Ron Pettis, deep down inside, was a bomb maker. He had loved bombs since he was a little boy, and he decided to blow Margaret up. He built a massively powerful bomb, and he had a crony of his from the Hell's Henchmen come with him, and at one point, uh, Margaret was parked her car in a train station parking lot. The crony crawled underneath the car, placed the bomb underneath the car, and it was a booby trap device. And when Margaret returned uh, off the train, got in her car, put the car in reverse, the bomb exploded. And thank God she survived. It was a miracle. Uh, and so from there, I was the third ATF agent assigned to the case. And it's quite a tale. It involves secret FBI tapes. It involves uh, the Hells Angels, a huge war with the Outlaw Motorcycle Club. Uh, it's, it's right out of a movie. It's a lot of fun and it's all true. Wow, that, that's amazing. 